Hi, I'm Steve and today I'm going to go over the progress of my workbench, the legs and the stretchers mostly, cutting those to length, cutting the tenons, um, and cutting the profile and the long stretchers in the front and the back. Um, Chris Schwartz has a special profile on those for the dead man, the sliding dead man with the little V groove of the top and of that stretcher. Um, so that was a little bit of a challenge, and at least with my learning everything type of skills. Um, so I actually made a piece that's um, an exact duplicate of just some 2 by 4s so I could practice on that, and then actually cut the final stretchers. I made an auxiliary fence for my miter um, fence, or whatever you call that, um, the little piece of maple. And then on the, I made it long, so then on the end, I could put a stop block and clamp it on there so that when I cut the legs to the length, they'll all end up being the same length. I still have to cut and then turn the leg 180 degrees and finish the cut on the other side. Because uh, five inches thick is too thick for the table saw. I've got the saw blade set at 45 degrees and I'm going to cut a chamfer in the bottom of each leg all the way around so that it won't split when scooting the bench around on the floor. So I have the table saw cleaned off on the other side and the leg over there and the miter gauge with the auxiliary fence I made for it. And a little stop block there that will help um, cut the leg, the chamfer exactly on each leg. So I practiced this on a 4x4 four four and it came out good, so I'm uh, ready to start cutting the four legs. The front and rear stretcher have a kind of a profile that's a little odd to it for the uh, dead man, um, the sliding dead man. So I made this little practice piece and glued it up and planed it to the exact same size as the real stretcher, which is right here. So I've got two of the cuts made, I just need to make four cuts and I set the saw up each time on the sample piece which is like I said within a couple thousandths exactly the same size so I made this one this cut here is the one I'm going to make now and I forgot to film the uh, first two cuts so I will uh, make that now on the two f stretchers on the front and the back I'm getting ready to uh, cut the tenons and the cut the stretchers to their exact final length, and then I'll cut the tenons in those. And I need to cut the tenon in the top of the leg here. And I'm marking out where I'm going to be cutting the mortises, and I have it marked on the top of each leg which leg it is. Um, this one on the other side has the um, well, I'll show you in a second. But I've marked where the this will go here and which area I'm cutting the waist out. Where, as soon as I get the cut part of this off, make a tenon and that will slip in there when I get that finished. So I'm being careful and trying to think and measure like four times. Measure four times <laughs> and hopefully I don't make a mistake. And also I was figuring out, oh, what if I do something stupid and put cut these mortises on the wrong faces? Or if I cut the tenon in the top, but it's the wrong way based on how the mortises are. And that's just not going to work. 
so I'm trying to be super, super careful and mark everything. This is going to be the most complicated leg. Well, these markings are really thin yet, and I haven't gotten it really good in pencil. But this is where the crisscross is going to go for the leg vise in here. And then the other mortise will go on the side over here, which is going to interfere with this area a little bit. And I think what I decided to go ahead and do is on the front stretcher, go ahead and make it like the Chris Schwartz book says, two and a half inches deep, which will go into this area, but at a depth. This is going to be one and seven sixteenths deep. So it will actually, when I cut this out, it's going to go and take some of that tenon off for the front stretcher. I'm marking one of the leg tenons here using the calipers to scratch a mark at the exact distance it needed to be. I'm cutting one of the short stretchers here, the length. I'm trying to measure everything a million times because I'm always afraid I'm going to make a mistake. It's one of the long stretchers. That's the second long stretcher. Now here I was, um, that's the dado blade and I'm making the uh, tenons. I'm cutting the uh, tenon in the leg, the top of the leg that will go into the workbench top here using the dado blade. If I had to do it over again, I'd probably use the bandsaw and cut out most of the waste and then use the data blade to cut the last little bit off to get the accurate cut. There was just a ton of sawdust when I was doing the second pass of the dado cut to its final depth since the tenon was up off the table saw already from the first pass. The sawdust just went everywhere. It was just a huge mess. Definitely needed a mask there. I should be coming out with another video soon because I already actually have all the uh, mortises cut in the legs and even this long mortise for the crisscross of my benchcraft advice. Um, I just need to cut the hole for the threaded rod to go through and cut the holes for the dowels to go into to pin the tenons in. Um, and then I'm going to be very close to ready to glue up the base of the workbench, which is pretty exciting. Well, that's it for today. Um, please like and subscribe, and I should have another video soon. Thanks.